Hello friends, welcome to today's daily devotion. It's Thursday and we're turning our attention to the second half of Romans chapter one, reading today from verse 18 through verse 23 from the Open English Bible. I'm Carrie Wood from Golston Methodist Church, by the way, in case you hadn't figured that out yet from the first three days of our devotions. So here, what Paul has to say this morning. So too, there is a revelation from heaven of the divine wrath against every form of ungodliness and wickedness on the part of those people who by their wicked lives are stifling the truth. This is so because what can be known about God is plain to them. For God himself has made it plain. For ever since the creation of the universe, God's invisible attributes, his everlasting power and dignity, his divinity, are to be seen and studied in his works so that people may have no excuse. Because although they learned to know God, yet they did not offer him as God either praise or thanksgiving. Their speculations about him proved futile, and their undiscerning minds were darkened. Professing to be wise, they showed themselves to be fools, and they transformed the glory of the immortal God into the likeness of mortal humans, and of birds, and beasts, and reptiles. Yesterday, we talked a bit about the good news that is given to us through Jesus Christ. And this is indeed good, wonderful, amazing news, but everything that is good also has a reason for it being good. And now Paul is starting to explain what some of that not so good news is. Bottom line, God has revealed who God is through the very act of creation, through this earth in which we live, the space in which our planet rotates around the sun, the stars and the universe, all of these things point in a grand scale to God's glory. That's why you find in the Psalms so many references to the splendor of God revealed by the stars, the sun, and the moon. And in our modern day of science, we are able to get down into the microscopic level and be able to see just how amazingly complex all of life is and how matter works and how energy works. And all of these things can be pointers towards God. And yet, for the most part, both in Paul's day and in ours, there is a significant portion of the human population that says, no, I don't believe in God. And so because of that, all of this supposed wisdom comes down to being mere foolishness. That's a hard pill to swallow, isn't it? that all of our human wisdom leads us down a bad and a flawed path. We look for answers in places other than the answer, capital A-N-S-W-E-R, God himself. So be warned and be forewarned about your own thoughts and processes. Do you believe in God based on natural revelation? Or do you disbelieve in God despite natural revelation? My friends, there is bad news that goes along with the good news. But that's what makes the good news even better. And I'll see you tomorrow for another daily devotion.